And uh, we're eager to talk to you today about the Protecting Americans from Foreign Adversary Controlled Applications Act. I want to give a special note of thanks to my ranking member, uh, Con Congressman Christian Morthy, who has been great to work with on all of the things we've done in the Select Committee, but particularly on this issue, which is a, a complex issue. And we would not be here today uh, with a bipartisan bill, and I would say a, a, a bill that has the support of multiple branches of our government, were it not for his team and himself in particular working very constructively with ours, as well as just the members of the Select Committee in general and members of the ENC Committee as well. This has been a very constructive conversation on a complicated issue. So we have now come together. We have 10 Democrats and 10 Republicans uh, to introduce a bill that would prohibit TikTok from operating in the United States unless, unless it severs its ties to ByteDance or any other entity controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. This is not a step that Republicans and Democrats are taking lightly. For months, we have studied this issue. We've listened to warnings from every major national security official in the Biden administration, the FBI director, most recently in front of our committee, the CIA director, the NSA director, the DNI, et cetera, et cetera. And now is the time to act. And the message we've heard from them is that TikTok, under its current ownership structure, is a threat to U.S. national security. Before we open up the floor to questions and for other members to speak, I, I want to just quickly address Americans who might have some concern about this bill. Whether you're a mom worried about your kids on social media in general or TikTok in particular, or you are a college student who uses the app to connect with friends or you're an ins aspiring influencer, um, I would say this, if you value your personal freedom and privacy online, if you care about Americans' national security at home, and yes, even if you want TikTok to stick around in the United States, this bill offers the only real step toward each of those goals. Let me explain why. TikTok is based in China. In China, there is no such thing as a private company. The ruling authority, the Chinese Communist Party, and its leader, Xi Jinping, have their hands deep in the inner workings of the company with devastating consequences for our own personal freedoms. And in compliance with Chinese law, TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, is legally required to support the work of the Chinese Communist Party. And under ByteDance ownership structure, the Chinese government has the ability to manipulate TikTok's algorithm, surveil its users, and conduct influence operations that quietly populate Americans' For You pages. This is a problem because TikTok isn't just an app for funny dance videos. It is increasingly a news source for Americans under the age of 30. And allowing a CCP-controlled entity like TikTok to become the dominant media player in America would be like if in 1962, at the height, the height of the Cold War, right before the Cuban Missile Crisis, we'd allowed Pravda and the KGB to purchase the New York Times, the Washington Post, ABC, and NBC. But, and this is crucial, there is a path forward for TikTok. As outlined in our bipartisan bill, if TikTok is completely divested by CCP-controlled ByteDance, if there is a separation, the app can remain in the United States. Through this bill, we want to ensure divestment, not censorship. If an entity other than a CCP-controlled entity owns TikTok, Americans can still share whatever content they like, no matter how bad the dance moves may be. But instead of being fed whatever the opaque Communist Party-controlled algorithm dictates, Americans will then have real freedom of thought and expression. And for TikTok's users, employees, and investors, I would submit this bill provides the only path for the app to continue its operations in the United States without threatening Americans' online freedom, privacy, and security. We need this bill because we simply cannot allow an app controlled by our nation's foremost adversary and competitor to take over the American media landscape. We cannot place the hearts and minds of the next generation of Americans in the hands of a communist aggressor. We must act, and I urge the rest of our colleagues in the House and the Senate and the executive branch to act now before it's too late.